I'm doing something that I've never done before. Um, I'm mostly used to painting landscapes and nature and, you know, trees, skies, all of that. And I've never really done... I don't want to say I've never done much else, but that's really the extent of, of what I've done, and I want to change that. I want to try new things and paint things that I've never painted before and, you know, get better just in general. Today I'm doing something inspired by Halloween, since it's next month. And I have a lot of stuff planned for October, and I'm excited about that. Today we've got an oil painting of um, of three pumpkins, jack-o'-lanterns, uh, sitting in front of a house with a bowl of candy in the foreground. I decided to use darker colors for the background because, um, you know, Halloween trick-or-treating happens usually when it's, when it's dark, when it's nighttime, and I wanted to bring the jack-o'-lanterns, the light from the jack-o'-lanterns, out. I wanted to make that pop. So I decided on very dark colors for the background. Um, we've got a, a brick house, and I used Payne's Gray with red it's like an Indian red and a um, little bit of blue and some brown. It was pretty difficult to keep my brush uh, straight in this part of the painting, especially with all of the, the bricks and the stairs and the door in the very back and I didn't add very much detail to the back, uh, mostly because, like I said, I wanted to bring out the jack-o'-lanterns. Yes, that, that is paint all over the back of my hand. Yes, I, I do use the back of my hand as a palette. And no, it's probably not very good for me, but whatever. I haven't had a, a whole lot of experience painting bricks. Uh, there was one project that I did back in like middle school where I had to do a whole page of bricks and I hated it so much because the work was so tedious that I just never painted bricks again. So this was, this was interesting. It wasn't too bad because obviously there's not nearly as many bricks as a whole page of tiny little bricks. I tried to keep multiple different light sources in this painting. One of them is from, say, the moon. Uh, so I tried to have more of like a, a bluish tinted highlight for those bricks in the background. And then we have the, the yellow light from the jack-o'-lanterns, which will be mostly on the pumpkins itself and on the ground around them. This was definitely my favorite part of the painting. It's just sitting here and painting the pumpkins, you know, and every little detail going around the, the cuts in the jack-o'-lantern's face. And I wanted to do slightly different colored pumpkins for all three pumpkins. I didn't want them to be just the same orange. So I tried to add a little bit of pop of color to the one on the right. And the classic pumpkin's teeth from the mouth is my favorite part. One of my favorite parts. And then for the pumpkin on the left, I decided to do a little bit of a lighter orange. Because, you know, not all pumpkins are the same color. Can't discriminate. All pumpkins are created equal.
On the side here is just a little patch of grass. I didn't add very much detail to it yet because I just wanted to fill in the color so I knew where it was. And then a brick lining of the, of the sidewalk for the uh, leading up to the, the very front of the house. Now I'm beginning to add the veins of the pumpkin, which is, in my opinion, the most important part of the pumpkin, and was actually a lot of fun to do because I loved watching the, the pumpkins from wh what they look like right now to just a solid color to actually beginning to look like a real pumpkin. Here I'm adding the, the light from inside the jack-o'-lantern and adding a little bit of highlight, a little bit of glow around the outside of the cuts of the pumpkin. And on the larger pumpkin, the light from the smaller one on the left is kind of reflecting off of the, the side of that, of that larger pumpkin. And you see that here. I probably could have done, now that I'm watching it again, I definitely could have made the left pumpkin a little bit darker in its veins just to make it a little bit more contrasting. Have more highlights from the the light inside of the jack-o'-lantern being added. I ended up switching where the um, inside of the pumpkin lays, like when you're looking at the, the hole, you see the edge of the, the cut of the pumpkin. I decided to change that up because <laughs> I did that on the left pumpkin and then I had it drawn on the other side of the, the cut and I decided to switch it because it just looked better. I don't know if that made any sense, but I don't know how else to describe it. And then we've got the very right pumpkin. Which I tried I tried adding a little bit of green to it, but as I began adding the veins, the the, the shading for the veins, it, it kind of didn't pop out as much as I'd like to, but that's okay. Now I'm adding a little bit of Payne's gray and just a touch of brown to make it a little bit less blue to the uh, sidewalk concrete. Now for the bowl of candy, I ended up using a reference photo. I just googled bowl of candy <laughs> and painting in some milk duds and I did like little blue crunch bars. I didn't add like a whole lot of detail to them, uh, mostly because I wanted to keep it more uh, abstract, especially because it's in the foreground. And again, I'm trying to keep the pumpkins as the main focus of the painting. Yeah, we got crunch bars, we got Skittles, we got Whoppers. I don't know if any of you remember those, but I think they were my favorite candies when I was a kid. Let's pop them in like candy. <laughs> it's terrible, I'm sorry. I like the choices that I made with the colors for the bowl of candy because uh, I kept it somewhat close to the colors from the rest of the painting. They use the same colors like the Indian red and the 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 thalio, thalo blue, however you pronounce that, and the orange as well. I wanted to keep them all sort of relatable to each other. I don't know if that's how you say it, but that's how I'm uh, that's how I'm saying it. And then we've got a purple bowl because it's Halloween. I mean, purple, orange, black, those are all Halloween colors. Adding the last few touches, and then my signature, of course. Always got to have the signature. I was pretty happy with this painting, especially because, like I said, it's something that I've never really done before, and it was a bit challenging, but I think I did pretty good for my you know, 
one of my first times painting like a house and some solid objects. My favorite part is definitely the, the illuminated light from the jack-o'-lanterns. Starting October 2nd, I will be doing uh, daily videos for Inktober. Every Monday I will have, yeah, every Monday or so I'll have a video where I do two days because I won't be uploading on Sunday, kind of give myself a little bit of a break just so I'm not overwhelming myself or anything like that. But yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you not next week, but in a couple days.